The St. Paul's redevelopment project will demolish Norfolk public housing. It's starting to have its first residents move out of the Tidewater Gardens neighborhood. Letters went out to residents telling them to get ready, but some will receive an early move out. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee has those details. This notification letter issued last night officially tells residents in Tidewater Gardens they must get ready to move out now that Norfolk Public Housing will get demolished. It starts with Phase 1, which consists of 187 units out of 618 in the Tidewater Gardens area. We will be coming around door to door for those residents in Phase 1 to go over the forms with you personally. And for those residents in Phases 2 through 4, we ask that you come to the People First Office. In a meeting last night, Mills distributed this house choice survey along with the notification letter which tells residents they have options some of which include moving to another public housing community or taking a housing choice voucher which allows them to rent on the private market but they don't want anyone to move out just yet we do not have those vouchers yet so what we are doing is we're offering our other voucher to residents in phase one who are ready to move and would like to go ahead and start that process. It's their choice, they don't have to. However, if any residents at phase one have school-aged children, they can start moving out now. Residents don't want to move after the children have gone back to school. They want to be able to coordinate that move during the summer, so that's what we're trying to do with this first wave of vouchers that we're issuing. And as this redevelopment process continues, officials are asking residents who have any questions to go to the People First office. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.